In the previous episode, we started our mercenary contract with William the Bastard of Landio, destroyed several bandit and minor faction parties for tons of cash, and upgraded a lot of armor and weapons. We also hired several companions and lost Chad Steele in battle. Yeah, another 783, we're making, what, 1500 on the mercenary contract. A little bit on the gang alleys, not a lot, but I guess it helps. We could buy the workshop right now, but we can't really afford to switch it. So why don't we wait a couple more days, take a few more fights, and then probably get above like 30, 35k, something like that. Here we go. And in the meantime, all we're doing is stacking up good armor, getting a little bit of XP here and there, hopefully safely, although these guys are pretty tough. So but we'll get our archers into position to hopefully draw those guys in. Let's go deal with some of their cav. I feel like that's where a lot of the good armor is going to be. Oh man, it is so hard to move in the snow. All right, we're tickling them. I hear under the armpit is a pretty good place to tickle people. Oh, and Jeff comes in and one taps him. Stole our kill. You're fired, man. <laughs> you are fired. There we go. Get us, get us horse out of here. We can pick him apart. Now we might actually. Oh wow. All right, he took us down. No, our horse. <laughs> yeah, there goes our horse. Right, well, maybe we'll have a better chance of taking this guy out. No, they're pushing him too fast. Man, we are so slow. All right, we need to take one of these guys off his horse. Oh, beautiful. No, don't get shot. Don't get shot, horse. There we go. There we go. We finally got one. Let's leave our horses in reserve here for a sec. There's only one left. I really don't want to have our guys running through their lines. Seems like that that's what was about to happen there. So let's just take this. Let's take this one guy out on our own. Yeah, I don't mind him getting back on the horse. Seems to be easier for us to hit him. So their cav are completely gone. Let's deal with the horse archer or we'll get our horse shot out. It's not our horse anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But we also don't want to get completely destroyed by these archers. There we go. So we'll pick up a little bit of armor from that. Oh, there's a soaring axis. We got nightmares, flashbacks from that. And our range units aren't even shooting at them. Uh, I guess that's why they weren't doing much. They must have been shooting at the cav. Well, we should be okay from here, and then we'll move our infantry up just behind the ridge. Here we go. Infantry are coming in. All right, we're going to charge the infantry. They are starting to go after our, our archers, but that's fine. Cav are coming in to save the day. Yeah. As long as they don't have a big ball of infantry tightly packed... We should have no problems. Oh, they're running. So we can take advantage of this. A lot of free armor here. Let's see if we can get him in the legs. Yeah. Legs and arms. I feel like we'll have a better chance of piercing the armor. Oh, man. We didn't get hardly anything there. Right, we can dump that guy, though. Yeah, no losses. Almost 10 influence. Shlum for three kills. And we didn't, like I said, we didn't lose anybody. That's the important part. We'll take prisoners. We'll hold steady here. We're not going to upgrade these guys past three. And we'll take a lot more armor. That is beautiful. Let's actually take a quick look. So infantry are pretty much set. Yeah, some of the cav are looking pretty good. It's really just these last couple. So Cletus is still looking for a decent one. Riddick. And that's it. Everybody else has really good armor. I mean, it's not bad armor, but it's not on the same level. So we, oh, and we could still actually take these guys out. If we can catch him, which we can't. Now we do have 30k, so let's go buy that workshop and we'll swap one out. Don't need two linen. So we'll buy the linen we've reached, almost 25k. And if we want to swap it out, we can do it for, was it 2k? So it's not bad. And I believe we were going to go clay, right? Yeah, so we'll do pottery shop. Since there's a source there, let's go pottery shop. So that takes us down to 4k, but I'm not too worried about it because we do have quite a bit of money coming in. Rather, we don't have a lot of money saved up, but we've got a decent income. Now this pottery shop looks like it was not making a whole lot of money. 235 it's not great for seven days obviously oh but that was for the flax okay i see yeah i didn't even realize that this mod's really cool it tells you the history of what the shop was doing so you can see the outputs and you can see the buy sell and it tells you pretty much exactly if it's making money or losing money and then it also shows that the daily wage does actually play a factor so without that daily wage these things would be making a ton of cash yeah hopefully the clay let's see if the clay is cheap here we probably should have looked at that before but that's fine so clay is cheap and pottery is not being produced here so we 
we can't really tell what the prices are, but the fact that there are none is a good sign at least. And the clay is really, really cheap. 61% below average. So I think we'll make money there, but I guess time will tell. But it doesn't really help us to sit around waiting for it. So, and for, we'll take the increased rating speed for this one. We're not going to be using bandit parties, so that doesn't matter. But we will probably do some rating. Now with Stuart capped out, we move on to the next. And I think it's got to be charm. We want to get up to at least level 200. And then that'll give us 20% XP gain for companions. And then at some point we can get down here to the immortal charm 275. And then whether we're going to be a mercenary or not, we'll be wanting to use the influence anyway. So that'll be handy. So let's, let's keep hunting. Now the Kazate deserters, normally there'd be a lot of horse archers, but it seems like this one has a lot of the tier one recruits, what they call the nomads. But hopefully some of their, like the one cav and the horse archers, hopefully they've got some decent gear. They've got a, a Kankli. I don't know how you would pronounce that, I guess. Kankli. I know how to speak some Chinese, so it might be different than what they're going for here. But uh, so I'm not even actually not even attempted. That was probably the hardest part of Bannerlord, pronouncing the Kazate names. And since there's almost nobody here on the, the mountain side, let's just go after this guy by ourselves. Just so we make sure we don't split the kill. Really want to make sure we get this guy's armor. Oh, he took a big hit. Oh, uh, man. I think I got a feeling one of the archers is going to pick him off. Don't do it, archer. There we go. We got him. Right, they're still not moving. Let's get our archers in a little bit better spot. Oh, they are actually shooting. But let's let them get a little bit more accurate shots. Yeah, 100 meters. We should be fine there. And they've only got one archer and three horse archers. So I'm not too worried about the projectiles. Let's pick out some of these guys. Yeah, for some reason, these archers don't seem to be reacting to anything. They're kind of like little zombies. All right, there we go. Now he's moving. He got tired of getting stabbed. Now, let's get a little bit more XP on our calf. I think we should be able to do pretty good work here. Let's get him to turn our way. Oh, look at that. Four kills right off the bat. That was really good. And they're mostly running at this point, so. Cletus with three, Riddick the Hateful with two. That's not bad at all. We got five influence. Now we could actually take these guys and donate them. Let's try it. Probably not going to get that much, but let's at least try it, see what it does. A lot of good gear from that, actually. Wow. It seems like their weapons were better than their armor, at least, compared to what we had. I was going to say, there's no chance we catch this guy. Yeah, I was going to say, man, we could have caught him. I didn't react in time. So let's go donate troops. Let's get rid of these. And that gives us uh, almost nothing. But we were coming here anyways to get rid of the prisoners, so it's fine. So up to 6,500 and our workshop is making... 200 that's actually pretty good that's a good start for for this uh this patch they don't the workshops don't seem to be doing all that great but 200 is pretty good so clay we're buying let's see we bought four oh they're actually selling off the flax too that makes sense so they're getting rid of the inventory they have that's kind of cool i didn't know they did that if we look at their inventory we can see what they have so they only have one clay in stock and then if you look at the production there's four pottery that were produced so they'll be selling four per day Four pottery for 1163 that's really good if they can keep that up we gotta buy more pottery yeah four pottery pottery so four clay for tw let's see minus 28 and then pottery 1163 that's a huge profit but the problem is as this produces more pottery they're going to flood the market a bit and that price will go down and also the price of the clay will go up so it'll turn out to be something a little bit different but for now it's selling above market price and we're buying for below market price so that'll adjust but like i said it's a good start and let's go ahead and put jeff in charge of scouting we don't have a whole lot of points to spare with with these guys but let's at least get that going yeah two and two so we'll put a little bit in a scouting we need to get a scout going because we're not going to be able to handle that on our own. Now here's another asteroid deserters. These guys seem to be a really good way to farm. Oh, let's actually let him go. We don't want to split it. There we go. And their horses are really far out there. So let's actually go ahead and charge them. Let's get our cab involved. I can't see anything, man. This is kind of hard to command. Let's get them to turn. Actually, we can give them the charge command. Let's keep an eye on them. Make sure they're not going into the line. And that's pretty much what they're doing. Let's pull them back. And they're charging us again, so we'll turn and meet them. Move. Yeah, they'll scuff up a little bit. They're getting XP for it. So sometimes that's all you can ask for. Alright, we'll break them off. Let's pull back. Oh, they're gonna keep coming at us. Oh, one tapped. We one tap this guy. We got a new shield, and this thing takes a ton of damage. Oh. Get his horse out of here. No, he's going to get back on it. Alright, that horse does not want to run. 
What a loyal horse. Get out of here, horse. Okay, or we could just kill the horse. That works, too. All right, there's more armor for us. Let's take this guy out now. All right, we got a good couch lance there. 75 damage. He can't take too much more of this. Now, they are pushing in. Let's, we'll go shield wall with our front line. Let's actually get our cav back to their archers. Oops. Actually, we need to give them the charge command. They're going to go kind of near infantry. I think they can handle the infantry, though. Because there's not too many of them and they're kind of spread out, so... We'll just let them do their thing. Yeah, they, we already broke... We broke the morale. Beautiful. We're getting a lot of kills here. We're going to have so much gear from this. Another one. Let's go ahead and send our infantry out. Just so they can at least keep people busy. There we go. One more left. Beautiful. Almost 14 influence for that. That's huge. And the amount of armor we're going to get. We got eight kills. A lot of those were the high tier. We only killed like one or two archers that were low tier. Jeff with three. Schlumpf and Sunyi with two. That's pretty good. Like I said, we didn't really get our infantry involved there. I would like to make sure that these cavalry are consolidated. Make sure they're getting a lot of XP. Yeah, we'll take all that juicy, juicy loot. So let's take a look at our guys now. We basically look like Asurai, which is fine. Yeah, even Riddick's got some nice stuff. So I think it's about time to start hiring people again. Let's just make sure that our work workshop is doing good and it is 284 but like i said that'll probably come down at some point so if you look at the first yeah the first cycle 1163 second cycle 711 so it's going to come down and then obviously the price of clay is going to go up slightly which it did 28 for four and then 21 for three so that'll even out at some point but i think for now we're in good shape we'll just leave it yeah i'm pretty happy with that purchase there's some really small parties out here see if we can catch them let's just auto resolve this it's small enough you know no injuries we don't get too much of the gear but that's fine it's fine all right Let's go to Proven. We got to get rid of some people. Thousand bucks there. So we're back up above 10k. Wow, that workshop's doing really well. It's over 300 now. Yeah, that was a good decision. I was just thinking, okay, there's also a perk for workshops. We just got it. So level 75 sweatshops gives us plus 20% production rate for workshops. So instead of making four, we should be able to get an extra one every maybe other other day or something like that. And then for writing, we're going to go sweeping winds. That's going to give us a little bit more movement speed on the campaign map. Now we've got room for more troops. Let's actually, let's keep upgrading these guys. Yeah, and because we have some passive XP perks, we'll be getting these guys upgraded even if they're not getting combat. That's fine. Yeah, they're all moving up a little bit. So let's hire some more people. I would like to start working on our range units, but I think we need to consolidate our front line a little bit better just because if we're going to be going up against a lot of cavalry for the most part and having those long pole arms really does help so let's have a chat with hokey hyena 849 we'll take it and we've got quite a bit of good gear this guy's starting off with really nice stuff so hokey hyena doing pretty well and while we're at it we've got enough cash let's pick up maybe one or two more so we've got ulfnar and again pretty good gear there so welcome to the crew both you gents let's get back to it i think we'll do a couple each time we go back to town maybe what we'll do is maintain a certain level maybe like uh, 10 10 to fifteen thousand, and then once we go above that we can freely spend it because we're going to want to save up for another workshop. Actually, that's probably what we should be doing. We're only making three. So we're basically breaking even with the workshop and we're making a tiny bit of money from the alleyway. We want to actually make money even if we're not fighting and without the mercenary contract. So let's go ahead and save up. We'll make another workshop somewhere. More asteroid deserters. Why not? Right, their cab are getting a little aggressive with us. It's fine. We'll get our infantry down slightly down the hill so we're not too aggressive. We don't want them to charge into us. We'll have a little bit of time to deal with their cab. Actually get our cab back a little bit so they're not sitting ducks. Oh, it's so hard to tell who's who because we have all their gear. <laughs> okay, that's not ours. That guy just whacked us. Oh, we can get that horse out of here too. No, he got on. Oh, it didn't matter. There we go. We got two of those. Man, we are doing a lot of damage with this. A lot of their posture damage. I get out of your horse. Here we go. There's another one down. I do want our infantry to get some XP in this too. So let's go ahead and push them up. Let's see if we can induce a charge. So they're coming in. Let's pull back just a little bit. Make sure we're in range. And then we'll go into shield wall. Oh, what are you doing, dude? Maya, Nora, get back. Get back, Maya. Oh, we just... We're trying to help. Get back, Maya. We'll protect you. Oh, we can't do everything, though. Get back. Oh, man. She made it. 
All right, Maya is safe. That was really close. I don't know why she was up there so far. Let's try and take this cab out. All right, we'll let them get some XP. We don't want to interject too much, but we will deal with the cab. Especially these guys. They do have a single archer back here. Looks like he's got pretty good, pretty good gear. That's what you like to see with your AI, right? Just stand in the wrong way while you get stabbed multiple times. I love the way these metal shields sound. Alright, another, another cab down. More gear for us. And the front line actually can charge. There's only four left. Let's just get this over with. Alright, we don't want this guy getting out. He's faster than us, though. There's not much we can do about it. We can't really get away from him. Or we can't catch up to him, rather. So almost 13 influence. We got infantry doing pretty well. So first battle, very nice. Hoki Haini with two. Maya with three. Not surprised, but I am happy you survived. And Ulfnar. Again, first battle. Two kills. That's really good. A lot more gear. I guess it's because we got some new people. So they probably got some of that good stuff. And we can put our final point into charm. And some of our people are getting up there. So Maya, first battle, we can get the steed killer. That's really important. And we could just catch these last two guys. So we'll send troops. Now, I don't mind chasing these small groups down. Yeah. That's fine. It doesn't cost us anything. Oh, except for one injury, oddly enough. Yeah, let's take another one and then we'll go back and sell some stuff. All right, no injuries that time. And you know what we could do? Since we're over in this area, let's go check out this the clay pit. Sometimes they'll have quests. They might have it right now. And that's going to allow us to sell prisoners. Yeah, it needs manual labors. So this would be a good quest, especially since we have so many prisoners that we can get rid of. So they want 18 and we can get rid of all these guys. Oh, they only want 19, right? Yeah, they only want 19. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of the high tier first because that's going to give us the best bang for the buck. Oh, but these, oh, we can't, as I say, it won't let us do regular troops, but it's letting us do some. Interesting. Well, that's fine. At least we can get it done. 575 is actually not as much as I thought. And we lost our merciful trait, which is fine. Don't know that Robert Giscard was merciful to begin with. So take another 600 there. And let's just make sure we're not not running out of food here. The yeah, only thing they don't have much of is are the dates, but I think we'll be okay without it. And we do have some herding penalties, so this will be a good opportunity. We've got Sumter, and that's the only pack animal we have, actually, Sumter. So we'll hang on to the Sumters, and we'll get rid of some of these other these other riding animals. So especially the low tier, we don't really need those. I think the step horse, probably not that big of a deal. Rebel Chaser, we'll hang on to, because that would make a good one for cavalry when we promote some more. So let's get rid of some of these Nahasawi. Actually, we can get rid of all of them. We have plenty. Sweet. So we'll take another 6k. We're back up to above 20. And for scouting, we're actually going to take the Desert Born because we're probably going to have a decent amount of cavalry in this match. We're obviously not going to be all heavy cav. We'll have a mix of skirmisher cav in there as well, but I don't think we'll be able to use Force Kin too much. But Desert Born, when we go to the Asteri, will help quite a bit. And Anas actually hit uh, 200 riding. That's pretty good. So we'll go Thunderous Charge. And you know what we should do is go scout out what the other towns have as workshops. So buying the workshop at Ox Hall, that Linen Weavery, would probably be pretty good. Let's check for other Linen Weaveries as well as uh, what do we have right now? We have the, the clay pit, the pottery. So we can check for both of those. And if they have them, we can come back and swap them out later. So nothing here. That's good. And same thing here. They don't have it. They do have the silversmith. And I do remember the silversmith at Ostakin is pretty good. So we might want to look at doing that as well. Those two are clean. Let's keep moving. If we see people along the way, we'll fight them. I don't think we're going to catch the Kazate deserters, though. These guys are pretty fast. Actually, we're faster than them. They have a lot of prisoners. And let's just push with our, uh, our infantry and we'll stay behind them. We'll react off of that. I think we can pause right here. Let's set up our archers and let's go push one of their, their calves. All right, once Kalsha lands down, whoops. All right, he's going to run off into eternity, so let's just not chase. All right, let's give these guys a group up again. They were starting to get a little... It's weird. When you give the charge command, sometimes they'll split. So let's give the engage command instead. Let's see if we can get a couch lance on him. Oh, just missed him. He pulled to the left at the last second. Now, he's got a Rumfali or something. All right, now we can give the charge command, and we'll pull our, our cab across their line. And I think we can safely just let, let our cab loose, let them do their thing. We don't have horse archers, so let's take these guys out. Oh, good hit. Right, somebody's got to get him. There we go. Soon you with the kill. Actually, maybe that's not a Rumfalia. Maybe that's a Falks. Uh, 
Oh, that's probably room failure. Either way, it's a nasty looking weapon. Oh yeah, we don't want to get hit by that thing. 43 damage. There we go, he's gone. We did actually have an injury for Hugo Lane, but not fatal, fortunately. There's more people here that we could take. Oh, actually, we hit another clan tier, so let's take all these guys. We're not going to use them, but we will donate them. That's not really going to cost us anything, so we might as well. And we were heading to Proven, trying to find out if there's more workshops, so let's keep doing that. Dump the prisoners. Let's get rid of all these guys. No, actually, oh, for some reason, it mixed all of our guys in here. Oh, because we have this... Oh, man. It messed up our order. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, well, let's move everybody back then. Good thing we didn't do it when we had like 500 people or 200 companions that'd be a really long time to rearrange let's move these guys back we'll figure out who we're keeping and we'll put the lock on them this time now i know for a fact these guys that are upgrading are ours this guy's ours these crappy ones are ours and then the recruit i think everybody else everybody else can go but we'll do it on the donate here we go so it gives us 11 actually that's pretty good now we're no you know what there's some people in here that we don't want to give up who are we getting rid of i feel like these archers no it's not them yeah actually it was now that i think about it it, it definitely was there we go so we'll get nine influence out of it. That's not too bad, actually. We are making pretty good money from each influence. And this town has a wool weavery, brewery, and tannery. So we're good there. Let's check these last four down here. An olive press and two wine presses. That's interesting. I don't know why they double up. That other town had two linen weaveries, too. I don't know why that they double up on these. And this place has got velvet, oil, and tannery. That's fine. Smithy tannery brewery. Yes, we should be good. I don't think Chados has anything good. Now, there's a pretty big party here. 80. Don't know if we can take all those guys. 48 range. Yeah. I don't know if we want to mess with them. Now, this place does have a linen weavery, so we could swap this at some point if we want to kind of corner the market on that. So that is something to think about. It's pretty far south, so it's not as big of a deal, but we should probably consider it. So it looks like our pottery shop is going to have a range of maybe the low 200s to, say, the high 200s, somewhere in that range. Yeah, pottery is not really selling for that much now. Look at that, 308. That's pretty bad. I think maybe we're flooding the market a bit too much. Now, I know for a fact that Batania has a lot of pottery shops. Shops, and they're pretty close by so at some point we could swap those out too if we wanted to but i think we'll probably just leave it for now so task at hand let's pick up another workshop we need to save up a few more bucks actually we need to pick up two more workshops if we want to be sustainable let's work on that we can get some nice imperial armor from these guys let's go after their calf i feel like we're gonna get the best armor from this guy oh I meant to couch lance and not jump whoops All right, we can charge our infantry now or our calf now that these guys are engaged yeah these guys have a really nice shield Now our cavalry gets stuck in there, that's not good. I do do not want them doing that. Doing it once is okay. If they do it more than once, they probably will start losing people. Oh, there's actually a crossbowman here. We want that crossbow. Imperial crossbowman, so he's probably got like a mid-tier. And we can start building up our, our ranged stash. Oh, this is a cataphract. This guy's got some serious gear. Stop him, boys. Nope. Oh, somebody snagged it. Good shot. So pretty standard. Not a whole lot of kills here to be had. 10 influence. A lot of troops, though. We will take that. Like I said, we'll donate them back. And we did get the pavis and some decent stuff here. No, nope, it's actually not an upgrade. But our guys did get quite a few upgrades from that. I'm curious who got the pavis. Yeah, it's going to say it's going to be pretty high up there. This thing, because it's got 1,000 hit points, it, we're probably not going to be getting rid of it anytime soon. This one has a, bit, a lot better coverage, though. That's fine. The frontline guys need it more than we do. And that's not really a great frontline shield, but hopefully there's we get a better one. All right, and it should be easier now to just dump everybody, right? Yeah, guys are already marked. So we're good there. No, we did it again. We didn't mark these guys. So we've got 18 influence for that. That's huge. Yeah, not much for prisoners, but uh, I, I guess that's just how it is unless we start fighting the real top tier guys. And for scouting level 100, we're probably going to take Force March. We shouldn't have an issue keeping above 75 morale. Right now, we're right on the border of it, but once we get a few more perks and we start fighting more frequently, that shouldn't be an issue. And our money just jumped up to 50k. I don't know how 
before we went that fast. I don't feel like we sold that much stuff. Actually, we didn't sell anything. That was maybe our just uh, our workshop did really well. No, it's not that. I don't know. That's weird. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. So let's go back. We can buy another workshop. Let's do it at Ox Hall. We want to get that linen weavery. There's a small party here we can pick off real quick. It's got a noble. This will help us. If he survives, we'll release him and we'll get a little bit of charm XP. We need to get the charm, get that charm XP up. All right, so we'll set our cab out. We should be fine. We've got plenty of guys. Oh man, this guy's got a really good helmet. We want that helmet. It's got a face covering too. So it'll be a little bit harder to get one shot to the face. Let's take out his horse maybe. We just couch lanced it. Oh, he's going to go down right here. Oh wow, he just couch lanced one of our guys. All right, well, he got he got destroyed. Yeah, they've got Oh, it's that's a dismounted cav. Yeah, he's in our backfield. Only one injury, and that was actually one of our companions, Jetta. I, I'm really surprised nobody's died yet. The death rate is still really high on this campaign, so... Yeah, luckily, that guy didn't die either. We can let him go, get some XP out of it. So, free to go. That gives us 18 charm. Yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping for. And we can get a better horse this time. So, we got a Destrier. Back to Ox Hall. Let's go get that workshop going. I'm surprised we got to Clan Church 2 this fast. That was really fast. Because we just barely hit clan tier one. And this guy's got the linen weaver. Let's go buy it. Should be around 24. Yeah, 24k. Beautiful. Oh, that's another thing. We could start doing some workshops. That might not be a bad idea either. We are going to be mercenaries. So it's a little risky. They can get caught when they're out there. But I think it's probably worth the risk. And for charm 50, we're going to take warlord. We're going to have a lot of money coming in from that. Now we've got the money to buy another workshop if we wanted to. The question is, do we do it here? I don't think so. I think we buy the silver, the silversmith up at Austin. Him. I think that's a better choice. So let's head up there and do that. And just to make sure they only have one. Yeah, they got brewery, tannery, and silversmith. So let's buy this thing. It shouldn't be too much. Yeah, it's less than 24k. It's based on the prosperity of the town. Oh, wow. Our compatriots have been going nuts. It took Epicrodia, Mechalavea, Othalaim, Kranirog, working on Varcheg, half of Batania. I didn't even realize they took Batania. So Drumor, Carbenseth, Pendrick, and Neviansk. That's pretty wild. Yeah, if Batania was smart, especially with the diplomacy mod, they'd be forming alliances. So then it get gobbled up like that. But it is what it is. Now, we haven't taken missions in a little while. Let's go ahead and take an escort merchant caravan. I feel like we'd be better suited now that we've got more troops. We can take advantage of it and get a lot of those horses. And selling those horses seems to be really profitable, more than the mission itself. So we'll do that. Yeah, 40 raiders is, that's a lot. And we're just going to let everybody loose. We'll go ahead and head off to the archer section. Yeah, we're, we're a bit higher skill now, so we can just remove these guys in one hit. Yeah, one hit, no problem. Oh, not that guy. Man, we are just dunking on these kids. Oh, that's our guy. They're mostly wiped out. They only got like four or five left. Nice. We didn't lose anybody. The caravan lost a couple, but not our concern. We got 20 influence from that. That's massive. We got 16 of those kills. So that's 16 cav coming our way or uh, 16 horses. And some people did something. Uh, this, like I said, this wasn't a big battle for our, our troops. It's more just to get some money and we'll take all those prisoners. Actually, we got a lot, even more than that. We got Sumpters. probably going to have a hurting penalty. 0.71. That's a big hurting penalty. All right. Well, we got to get to a town pretty quickly. We'll do that. Drop some of those guys off and let's take tracker for our scouting 125 this is going to increase our movement speed yeah, and we can dump all those prisoners let's go ahead and sell some of these mounts now our party is growing a little bit so let's keep a few more of the sumter i think before we were doing 25 let's actually just keep 30 now and then we'll get rid of the horses until we get rid of that so 0.5 we probably need to get rid of let's see i'd like to have most of the horses in a single stack that way it's easier so for example if we know we have 40 people on foot in this case we actually have more we have 41 on foot we know we need to have it at least 41 of these guys and if you've got you know six different types of horses you got to add them up each time it's really annoying so i'd like to have it all in one stack so it's just at a glance i can tell the problem is if we upgrade people to riding you know cavalry or javelin cavalry we're going to want to have them on better horses so getting rid of these does hurt us a little bit in this case i think we're okay let's get rid of the darshi horse and then we'll take this back down to 50 and that should be more than enough yeah we don't have a hurting penalty we still have six horses that we can use for cavalry we could always buy them too at some point if we're rolling in dough 
which we're obviously not. I mean, if we sold everything we had, we would probably have a couple hundred K right now, but that's just how it goes. Let's uh, let's sell these things off as well. Now, at some point, we do need to head to a town and sell a lot of the stuff because we're starting to get close to that overburden point. Not quite, but we're approaching it. I don't want to say quickly, but we're getting there. Actually... Let's stock up on food here. Yeah, part of the problem is we have a lot of grain. So let's get rid of the grain. There we go. So we stock up on food. We'll sell all that stuff. We'll still come off with 16 grand. So we're 30,000. And let's check in our workshops. Let's see how they're doing. So Silversmith is still losing money. What's going on here? The problem is jewelry is not selling for much. Actually, what are the outputs? It's making two every two days. Not quite. Yeah, so it makes one and a half each cycle plus 0.3 from a perk. It's not selling for much though. 227 for two is really bad because silver is costing 96 so that workshop is actually losing money because of silver the price of silver is too high there should be mm -hmm. there should be a silver mine up here and there is and it is going to ostakin so why is it so expensive there's also a silver village here silver mine going to carbansith i'm not sure we got to keep an eye on it we can switch it for something else or just outright sell it if we need to